What's going on YouTube land? Dar Shaggy here and here is another video just for you. That's right. Um I hinted at this video in my last video. Um and let's see if I can actually get through this. For some reason it's not letting me upload the videos. But um this is my video for the top video or movies in my opinion of 2014. Um to make the list, I had to have seen them in the theater, and they had to have sometime between January 1st and December 31st. So, I didn't see a whole lot this year. For some reason, I just didn't go to the theaters very much. So, and by the look of this list, it uh, looks like they're a bunch of nerd videos, so or nerd movies. So, or geek, geek films, whatever. Um, so, let's get into the list. Um... I, well, actually, I'm going to start off with a couple that didn't make the top five. Um, Amazing Spider-Man, number two, uh, was, I don't know. I just didn't care much for that movie. Uh, I don't know if it's, I don't care much for Garfield as Peter Parker. The, I did not like the the villains at all. I thought they were pretty lame, um, especially, uh, well, I don't want to go into detail, but they were just, I just did not care much for the movie. A little bit, a couple of lines made me chuckle, but that's about it. Um, I just, all in all, just uh, didn't care much for it. Um, and another movie that didn't make the top five list actually was on the list until the very last day, and I booted it down um, off the list because what I saw on the last day was actually better. Um, Transformers: Age of Extinction. Um, I I liked the movie. From what I saw of it, that being said, I fell asleep through it, so I only saw the first hour. Um, the first hour was really good, but I just, I don't know, I just could not stay awake, so I, I honestly couldn't put it on my top five list because of that factor. If I would have stayed up, who knows what it, where, if it would have made the list or if it would have still been off the list. Um, so those are my, that didn't make the list. Now, for the top five. Five, five, five. Um, movies of 2014 in Darth Shaggy's opinion. Uh, number five, like I said, it was, came out right before the end of the year. Went and saw it as my New Year's um, whatever uh, tradition. I went and saw Night at the Museum, and I can't remember what the subtitle is. Uh, forgive me on that. But uh, I went and saw Night at the Museum. All in all, it was... And okay, it was pretty good. Um, a lot of the humor, though, was overplayed. I mean, it, how many times can you see a monkey peeing on somebody and it still be funny? Um, Rebel Wilson, Wilson's character, um, to me, was just like Jonah Hill. But I, I, they should have let her go go off a little bit more on a tangent because um, she could be really funny. Uh, but, yeah, it was... The movie itself was pretty good. It was a good wrap up to this to the franchise. Um, it has a warm, uh, tender m moment at the end, and I'm not talking about the fact that Robin Williams was in it because I don't want to go into that. I, I, yeah, but there is a touching moment at the end when they, everything starts to wrap up at the end. Um, it's really good. It was it was uh, it was pretty fun. Um, and that, but that would be my number five. Number four was a really, really good movie. Um, yeah, I, I was hesitant in seeing this at first, and then I went and saw it just because I'm a, a geek, and it's a geek movie, and it is X Men: Days of Future Past. I thought it was really, really good. It was probably the best X Men movie since the first one. Um, by far, it was better than some of the latter ones um it was it had a lot of a lot of action in it a lot of uh, f uh, fun basically um there's a scene in it that that everybody talks about that yeah if you've seen it you know what i'm talking about when i do that but i don't want to spoil anything um but yeah it was uh, the cameos at the end were just oh it was so cool to see some of those characters oh excuse me and it tied up, tied up loose ends, and and it really 
got rid of that bad taste in your mouth from some of the movies. So it was really, all in all, it was really, really, really good. And that was my number four. Now, number three is a movie that not a lot of people put on their list. And I just happened to do it because I was a fan of them back in the day. And I I just thought the movie was fun. It was a fun, fun movie. A lot of humor, a lot of action, a lot of a lot of stuff that that makes you go hee hee. But uh, and that would be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I know, I know. A lot of people are like, but they destroyed the origin of the turtles, man. What? Who hasn't destroyed the origins when it comes to a comic book movie? I mean, even the best comic book movie ever made destroyed the origins of some of the characters, and that being the Avengers. But uh, I digress. I don't want to talk about that. We're talking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I actually even thought that uh, Megan Fox did a good job in it. I'm not a big fan of hers, and I thought she played April O'Neil pretty well. Um, there's There were some parts in it that are like, eh, but all in all, it was a fun movie. Then there's a scene in there that I still, uh, even now that I've got it on DVD, I'll rewind it and play it and rewind it and play it and over and over again. I, I laugh every time. Um, but yeah, that was number three. Number two. And a lot of people are like, a lot of people put this at number one on their list. A lot of the nerds out there. I'll put it at number two, and that's Guardians of the Galaxy. Granted, it was a very fun movie. There was just one movie that I thought was better. So don't don't hate. Don't hate. Okay, don't hate. Um, I thought it was funny. Uh, it was good. I went and saw it primarily because of the Avengers storyline, tie-in, whatever. Um, so that's why it got what got me in the door, and I'm glad I went because it was really, really, really good. Uh, it had some cameo or not cameos, but had some uh, actors and actresses from other other projects that I like to watch, like Doctor Who with Gary Gillian and and um, uh, Michael Rourke from uh, uh, Walking Dead was in it, one of my favorite shows. So. And it, it was just, it was fun. It was really a fun, fun movie to watch. And, uh, yeah, I highly recommend it if you haven't seen it yet. What rock have you been living under? Um, and that was number two. Now, for the number one, what could beat out Guardians of the Galaxy? That's simple. Captain America Winter Soldier. That movie was amazing, I thought, personally. It had so much going for it. It had... I mean, the return of, of, of a lot of characters. Um, you, I mean, Scarlett Johan, or uh, Black Widow, and you had Nick Fury, and, of course, Captain America, and Hill, and all these characters that came back. And it, they introduced some new characters, like Falcon and, and Winter Soldier, which don't want to give anything away, no spoilers. But, uh, yeah, it was really, really, I really, really enjoyed it. I, I've watch it all the time even now on DVD I just I love that movie so that was an easy pick for number one and I loved how it tied into the rest of the universe as well as far as the agents of shield and and how they the the whole who who can you trust atmosphere is going all over the place um, I really 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 enjoyed that movie and that's my top five I'd like to know what your top five was leave a comment in the section below and let me know what they are. Um, now for a list of movies that I'm really looking forward to this year. Uh, one of them actually came out today called Selma. And it's about Martin Luther King. Um, there's another movie coming out soon. And I've just started recently seeing the the uh, previews for it. And it actually looks really pretty good. And that's Paddington. I um, want to see that because, of course, I grew up on Paddington, Paddington Bear when I was a kid. So, and... Uh, there's another sequel coming out called, I mean, obviously Pitch Perfect 2. Um, I know, kind of a chick flick, but I uh, I really liked the first movie. The music was really good, and it also it's going to have a cameo from one of my favorite uh, groups, uh, Pin and Tonics. It's supposed to be in it, and I really can't wait to see that. There's an animated movie. I know what you're thinking. Shaggy's going to go see an animated movie in the theaters? Well, this actually looks pretty good. They, I saw a preview for it at night at the museum, and that's Home uh, with the voice actor or voice over or 
voice talent of uh, Jim Parsons from Big Bang Theory. And now for the big hitters this year that I really, really can't wait to see, Ant-Man. Got, got to go with the uh, the Marvel movies, Ant-Man. Um, and then the top two movies that I really, 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 really can't wait to see, and they're, they're both up there, uh, Avengers, um, Age of Ultron. And uh, obviously, couldn't wait to see that ever since the last Avenger movie. And Star Wars Force Awakens. Oh, man. I bagged on Star Wars for the last couple of years for what, what they've done with the whole franchise, but I really can't wait to see that movie. Um, looks like it's going to be cool uh, seeing the previews with the Millennium Falcon and the TIE Fighters. And oh, just I can't wait. Um, so that's the movies that I'm looking forward to going and seeing. What are your, what's your list? Leave those down below as well. So leave your list of best of 2014 and what you want to see in 2015. And until next time, save a big old tub of popcorn and a seat on the, on the aisle, and I'll be there watching the movies with you. See ya. Shaggy out. <laughs> <laughs>